dear honorable viewers all the students of mhc in entomology assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah welcome to the discussion on insect biology and today's topic is a question what is metamorphosis give an account of the metamorphosis of endopterygoid insects discuss the role of hormone in the process of metamorphosis if you already subscribed in my channel thank you very much if not please subscribe now to get the notification of next video and that will inspire me for the next video development for this click on the subscribe button below the video then click on the bell icon and then click on the option all what is the metamorphosis give an account of the metamorphosis of endopterygoid insects discuss the role of hormone in the process of metamorphosis answer metamorphosis the insects almost always has from egg in a condition morphologically different from that of the imago in order to reach the latter in star they consequently have to pass through changes of form which are collectively termed metamorphosis in other words the developmental process that takes place from eclosion of the free living insects until adulthood is called metamorphosis metamorphosis in endopterygoid insects the holo metabolous insects include the endopterygoid insects and pass through an indirect or complete metamorphosis here there are four distinct life stages in the cycle egg larva pupa and adult the presence of the larval and pupal stages are the most notable aspects of this life cycle model with few exceptions larvae are very different from adults they have a different form lack compound eyes have reduced antennae and lack external evidence of wing formation in most wing development begins in the early larval stages but occurs internally from rudiments known as imaginal disc there are four types of larvae in endopterygoid insects are as follows protopod larvae with segments and limbs imperfectly demarcated and characteristic of parasitic hymenoptera oligopod larvae with segments well differentiated and with three pairs of thoracic legs and without abdominal limbs and characteristic of coleoptera polypod larvae with both abdominal and thoracic legs and the body is elongated cylindrical orthognathus the abdominal legs are prolex and characteristics of caterpillars of lepidoptera sawfly larvae hymenoptera and larvae of macoptera apodous larvae are legless and characteristic of diptera or flies some hymenoptera like bees wasps and weevils the pupal stage is represented by an insect usually in a quiescent state most quiescent pupae are found in hidden protected habitats some like the moths are present in cocoons 
a covering of silk or silk bound debris constructed by the last larval skin which hardens to form a protected puparium. Wing pores appear on the pupa. Three types of pupae are recognized. Exerate pupa, the legs, antennae, and wing rudiments lie free and are not shouldered to the body and are characteristic of all hymenoptera, neuroptera, coleoptera, and trichoptera. Object pupae, the legs, antennae, and wings are shouldered or fastened to the body of the pupa along its length and characteristic of lepidoptera and coorthorephus diptera. Quartet pupae. The pupae is protected by a hardened, almost barrel-shaped, segmented puparium and are characteristic of cyclorephus diptera. At the last post-embryonic developmental stage, the imago or adult is immersed from the pupa. Adult is active, free-living, different from pupa and possesses and possess three pairs of legs, two pairs of wings in diptera, a, a one pair of one pair vestigial. It is the completion of the life cycle. Role of hormones. The interior part of the body of insect contains a number of endocrine glands whose interacting secretions control post-embryonic growth. Well-defined neurosecretory cells in the brain produce a polypeptide hormone, brain hormone or prothoracicotrophic hormone, which passes to the corpora cardiaca where it is stored and perhaps modified before being released into the blood. Here it is transported to the prothoracic glands causing them to secrete alpha ecdysone probably by conversion of cholesterol or beta ecdysone by various insect tissues. Beta ecdysone is the primary malting hormone which activates the, the epidermal cells under the impact of beta ecdysone at each malt the old cuticle is loosened and thrown off. The specialized epidermal cells are reserved, reserved or discarded and the ordinary epidermal cells which have been stimulated to grow and divide give rise to new cuticle and to new groups of specialized cells. In fact, beta ecdyson acts directly upon those cells that are in a state of dormancy. Within the few hours of the nucleolus is enlarged, different species of RNA begin to accumulate in the cytoplasm and mitochondria enlarge and multiply by subdivision. By the time the old cuticle is thrown off, the renewed 
epidermal growth has been virtually completed with locally expanded regions folded compactly while awaiting release from cuticular confinement. Remarkably, the muscles of the larvae, example gracia of Rodnias, differentiate between mouth and re-differentiate muscle fibers shortly before the next malt occur. To a degree, the organization is renewed on each occasion and at each time the value the volume of the growing animal doubles. In addition to these hormones, a third hormone, the juvenile hormone, JAS, or neotenin secreted by the corpora alata, appears to promote larval development and prevent metamorphosis. In other words, larval characters are maintained through the action of the juvenile hormone occurring in high concentration so that at every mold the larval features are mentioned. On the other hand, when the juvenile hormone concentration falls and egg dyson is in higher concentrations, pupil transformation results, while in the total absence of the juvenile hormone, it differentiates into the adult form. Evidence relating to the action of juvenile hormone on the epidermal cells has shown that they secrete a larval cuticle when in high concentrations and in the presence of the prothoracic gland. A pupal cuticle when in low concentra concentrations and an adult cuticle in the absence of juvenile hormone. After Im's general textbook of entomology, 10th edition, page 353 to 383, and number 2, general and applied entomology by K. K. Nair, page 84. Thank you very much for watching and keep watching for the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.